What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Folks, we're going to have a look at another Perseverance photo, and it is Sal 347. Now, once you see this photo, you can see the actual turret arm, and you can see the tools at the end of it. I believe these objects are very small. They're with inches tall, very, very small pieces. Now, what I like to do is bring out every single line that's around objects. Here's an example. If you see an object that looks kind of white or shiny, what I'd use is the burn tool to go around it lightly, right? You may find many a times it's not just a small item. It's actually much bigger. And usually if you bring the outline and you kind of burn a little bit, you may find a little white or something reflective under that. That's what we need to find out. And now sometimes you'll find nothing. In other words, you'll find what looks like just outlines. And that's pretty much part of the manipulation. They outline something and then they just put that texture on top of the object they're trying to hide. So bottom line is what you do is you bring out every line in the photo and try to determine what looks unnatural and is right there in the photo. Let's just get right into it and I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, here it is. You can see it, Moz Perseverance Sol 347, front left hazard avoidance camera, or it has cam. And you can see right here, the photo was selected by public vote and featured as image of the week for week 52, February 6th to the 12th, 2022 of the Perseverance rover mission on Mars. NASA's Mars Perseverance rover acquired this image of the area in front of it using its onboard front left HASCAM avoidance camera A. The image was acquired on February 10th, 2022 at a local mean solar time of 1427 or 227 p.m. Image credit goes to NASA JPL Caltech. Now, you can see this. You can see the end of the turret arm right there underneath the body of the rover. And you can see the tool head, right? Now, let me just show you this photo in Photoshop and we can really zoom into it. All right, you can see the photo is this big, and we blow it up to this big. Now, again, into the turret arm, you can see the tool head right here. You can see where they're actually drilling this part of this rock, right? Okay, if you go here, this is what caught my eye, kind of weird. This one narrow rock just standing there, and this piece here, this one, and this one. This is what caught my eye to begin with. And we have this other piece right here. Looks like it's going like this and then down and then you don't see anything else. But what I'm talking about is if we go after these pieces here, you can see some lighter pieces here, some at the top here. See that? And it's surrounded by this ground looking texture, right? So what you want to do is you want to burn around these objects to see if there's anything in there. Now, I was talking about lines earlier. Let's have a look at just this area right here. Okay. When you see this area here, you can see it has like a straight line coming down. But let's look at over here. You see it like going like this, straight line going down like this, another one going like this, kind of close to this one. Okay, now let's take out some of the color. And again, look at these lines right here. You can see those again doing this, okay? Just weird lines, folks. Now, some of this, or much of this, may be, in fact, manipulation. Now, if you look up this area here, just above that, right here, look at these lines right here and the brownish area. You can see right here in the middle, it's kind of squiggly, but look at this, and the dark area is doing the same. Why do we have a half brown texture and the other half black? Now, let's start off from the left here, because we have other things here on the hillside namely here, a couple things right here. You see even right here, it looks like a top of a square type piece right here. Okay, all right, so let's do a full enhancement. Brighten up anything that's lighter. Now some of these may be rocks, but have a look at some of these things right here. You got what looks like a bunch of squares of something lying right here in a row. You have these pieces here. Notice how they go down. Like this piece here, you can see it doing this. You can see this white piece doing this. Almost looks like it's doing this here. But it goes down below that. Wait a minute. So what is all this junk here? This is manipulation to try to hide or break apart 
the whole piece. All right. Again, we can see pieces like this, kind of weird square type things, just really odd shapes. Notice the bunch of little lines in here, like going down like this, see all that? You can see a bunch of these little lines. You can see a 90 degree angle here. Well, that's not really 90 degree, going down like this actually, right? And again, these here. And notice how these pieces go down into what was manipulation. Let me show you this. Go back to it. Put it in the middle here. Let's have a closer look right here. Seems like you have these square type things, but then they keep going down into this other color area. What gives there? Bring it out. You can still see the stuff dropping below that line right here. See that? All right, let's jump to the other side. I won't make this one too long. It doesn't need to be. Again, we have these weird features on the ground, this weird thing right here. This right here, we have what looks like something doing like this, and then that's all you see of it. All right, so let's bring this way back. Full enhancement. Folks, check this out. Now it looks to me, and this is only my opinion, is that there's a bunch of parts laying on this little hillside. I showed you this in the beginning. These two pieces. We've got this over here, this is a part I was pointing out earlier, where I had this weird shape coming down. Got this other long line coming down. Folks, just look at this stuff. This is weird. We can black and white it. Check this out. I was saying earlier about these shiny parts. Look at this. Now, here's the original. Check that out. Move it over to the right, get it in the middle of the screen. See that? You can see something, it almost looks like it's like this. Okay, looks like the other one next to it's doing the same thing, coming down. I'm not even sure what this stuff is, folks. Don't have a clue. However, it looks like, like this part at the top here, it looks mechanical, it looks like machine parts. It looks like something's been broken apart. Like just a bunch of trash thrown together. That's what it looks like to me. See that? Just back up a little bit. Check that out. Pieces over here on the right. Just back it up a little bit. There you go. We have other bigger things here. I'm not sure what to make of this stuff here. And I believe that's actually bigger. However, there's no way to find it out because you can try to dig. There's only so much you can do, folks. But check that out. It has this weird shape to it. Looks like it goes like this. Looks like it has a dark square in here. See this object like this here going like this. Almost looks like it starts to do it again, but then it kind of gets mixed up. See that? Black and white. Folks, here's another weird thing. Have a look at all these little things at the bottom, like all in this area. Just because it's a different color and they try to get rid of it, you could see just all these little pieces, make it black and white, as well as all this area here. Go back and forth a color. See that? You can see pieces going like this. Yeah. Not sure what to make of that. Move back a little bit. And again, you have all these pieces all on the bottom here. Just look at it with your magnifiers here. Look at this. And again, this whole area here. Look at the cutout of this stuff here. Not sure what to even make of that. All this up here. Check that out. I looked at this thing right here and I thought this was pretty funny because, let me zoom into it just a little bit here. It's like, oh wow, that's where my Hot Wheels car went. Right there. But notice the stuff that's in here. What are we looking at here, folks? That is just pretty cool to me, right? Like I said, if you take a close look at this stuff, you can see these little pieces look like they're purposely put there, constructed, intelligently made. We'll go to the original. 
you can still see all of the shapes in here. I can go back and forth and you can see that. I said, just concentrate on just these alone. Okay. If you've got a good phone, good high resolution, you can see these lines pretty darn easy. Go black and white. Okay. That's what I'm saying, folks. Sometimes you find stuff that's scattered all over the ground here. Not sure what to make of it. Some of these shapes may be, in fact, and I do believe that they are, is a lot of this stuff may be, again, they circled something, they wanted to take it out of the photo, then they take a texture and they put it in that shaped area. Kind of like using the lasso tool where you just circle an area or a shape, take it and you can put it on top of something else. So you're taking the texture from one area, moving it to another. But I think it's a lot more high tech than that. I wish I had the software to pull the whole thing out, meaning just remove the whole top layer. Well, we haven't figured a way to do that yet. So in the meantime, I still like the stuff I'm seeing, folks. Let me just back up a little bit here. Stop it right here. Have a look at it. This is in black and white. Pause it here. And folks, again, look at this stuff on here, just real quick, at the very top of this hillside. Check that stuff out. Hmm, doesn't look like rocks. I'm not saying this stuff couldn't be mixed up with rocks. Of course it can be. And of course we have the left-hand side. Like I said, the weird squares here. All the weird stuff here. Now, is it possible these are all rocks? Maybe not this one here, because I'm seeing what looks like these pieces kind of like in a row, and they kind of go down underneath of the manipulation. See that? And of course, again, we have these other odd shapes right here, right here in the dirt. Right there, pause it, folks. And there you go. Folks, it's odd that we can find these weird shapes all over the ground. I recommend, if you're doing this yourself, like I said, look for something that looks shiny. Maybe it doesn't quite look like the shape of a rock and slightly burn around it. You may find many, many instances that there's actually another shape. Like that part continues on. And because they put that colored texture over it, you don't see it. The lines are everything. Suddenly you can find shapes of things just hidden right next to that or it's actually part of it. That's what you need to keep an eye on. So some of these shapes may be nothing more than, like I said, they might have circled something they want to take out, and then they just drop the texture inside that outline or that shape that they made. I've seen that happen a million times. So we have to try to discern what is something that's intelligently made or something they're covering up that's intelligently made. Either way you look at it, right? But either way, I find it interesting. You can find all these crazy little tidbits, even on the smallest pictures. They're like, oh, we're just grinding or drilling into this rock. And clearly there's something else that they're more interested in. As always, folks, drop your comments down below. Let me know what you think. I'm always interested to hear what you've got to say. Please like and share the video. It is always appreciated. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Folks, more moon coming up. In fact, I got one coming up next. And I've got more Mars as well. So stay tuned. Anyway, thanks for watching. Always appreciated. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.